Alright, so the one. First and foremost, I'm gonna give all praise on the glory to Yahweh, Bah Shem, Yahweh Shai, Bah Shem, Makar Kadash, the bonds to the apostles, others the great millstone, the citation of brothers pushing his word in truth and sincerity and with charity, and risking their lives and freedom to do so. This is your brother Yanagaya <clears throat> from the Great Millstone Chicago branch. Looking at you when the lesson is gonna be a, a scripture of the day. You know, uh low ones at a time. Alright, and basically, man, what what um, inspired this scripture today is um, that you got to be out your mind or crazy to not think that the Lord is not going to recompense all the troubles that was done to his, his, his people, man, his chosen <laughs> Uh, uh, chosen people, man, who are who are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, we are still in our captors' hands, or we are still in in in, in slavery, man. All right, and all these things, you, you crazy as hell to think that the Lord is not gonna recompense this man. All right, as a matter of fact. Before I get the scripture today, I want to get Proverbs, the 11th chapter. It says, a false balance, this is Proverbs 11 and 1. It says, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. All right? Yet, here, here, we've been through a hardcore captivity, and you think that this, that this man is going to get away, he, he is gonna get away scot free. Esau, Edom, and all the rest of these heathens and these, these heathen nations. Because the scripture says, "What well, who has not taken part of the spoil, man?" All right. So he's out there. It's all these heathens, man. But he's the, is the main priority. He's on top of the list. All right. Scripture says that he that, uh, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's a balance. We went through captivity. We are still in captivity. We are still being slaughtered by the sword. And you think that this man is not, is, <laughs> is not going to, it's not going to get a, a recompense for that? He's not going to get any payback for that? The scripture says, uh, roughly paraphrasing, the wicked sh shall not be acquitted, man. All right? Shall not acquit the wicked. It, it, to hell with the, the, <laughs> these motherfuckers going to uh, 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 pay, man. Second, Thess Second Thessalonians 1 and 6 it says seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you let's read, let's read that one more time it says seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high re to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you and who has troubled us man Hey, this man has a, 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 a oppressed the man in his heritage, and, and this man has done the most. Yeah, you think that the Lord's not gonna go ahead and, and make sure that this man is gonna be recompensed for these things? The scripture says, the "Vengeance is his." crazy as hell that hey, this, to think that this man's gonna get away for touching the apple of, 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 of the Lord's eye, man. Scripture's able to talk, the scripture talks about uh, 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 rule, rule these people with a rod of iron. As a matter of fact,
the Obadiah chapter 15, it's like it's chapter 1, or 1 and 15. It says, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. That reward shall return upon thy own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yes, yeah, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the and the house of Jacob shall possess the possessions. <clears throat> so I can. I'm in motion right now, so. It says, uh, verse 18. It says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining in the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. And that's what it is, and that's exactly what's going to happen, man. Alright? And that's a righteous thing with the Most High, man. Alright? So, man, that's the mindset uh, 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 to be in. All right, these people want to uh, be uh, join hand in hand with the wicked, man. You crazy as hell, man. But uh, no one's edifying scripture today. Until next time, say shalom and a Bible ball.